I evaluated Zainab's speech, and it was her number one speech. And a number one speech is intended to get the person comfortable standing in front of the audience. They can choose to use a lectern or not, and they are not encouraged to be spending too much time focusing on hand movement and body language at this time, it's just to get comfortable in the speaking and the eye contact. Uh, the speaker, and the, these are the notes on what, of what I'm evaluating on. The speaker has been advised to use notes if necessary and be, uh, let's see, wanted to encourage the strong points while gently and kindly mentioning, oh, that's to me, never mind, I apologize. <laughs> anyway, her strong points are, I felt she had a confident stance. She did not use the lectern. She had an excellent recovery after the distraction of the door opening. I could see that that was a, a challenge for you. How well uh, did the audience get to know her? I felt that I really got to know Zainab, and I'm sure we all have through, um, we, we got a feel for her personality and her life being an only child and what her life was like as an only child with a mom that loves her so much. <laughs> uh, her, she clearly prepared for this speech. It was obvious that she had spent a lot of time preparing for it, and that was an excellent job. Uh, Zainab spoke clearly. And I was able to understand her very easily, and I believe that her voice was projecting clearly to the entire room. She didn't have, I didn't feel, I didn't catch like a complete opening and closing. There could have been maybe more of a one, two, three, one, two, three, or, or the points, but you clearly did talk about your early childhood. Maybe I didn't catch that it was being reiterated and it might have been. So you definitely talked about your younger years and your years growing up and then being on your own and married, which was excellent. I loved the way you used your notes. You had the lectern on the side, but it was not distracting. You glanced at your notes, you came back to us, and then you gave the eye contact and started speaking. So it really was not distracting at all to us. Oh, that was a very good use of uh, the notes being next to you. You did hold your hands in a clasped, clasped position. And I was going to say you can use your hands more, but then I read that that is not something that you have to worry about during speech number one. Speech number one. But you did hold your, your hands just to know that might be a habit. I have the same habit that something to be aware of that you held your hands together like this a lot. I loved getting to know Zainab better in this presentation. <coughs> she really made me understand what her life is like. I identified with having a mother wanting me to wear pink as well. <laughs> so you actually communicated in a way that I could relate to you. Uh, and you closed by showing, you know, you showed that it was a little stressful having a mom so that loved you so much, but in the end, the love of you so much was wonderful, and she just wanted you to be happy ultimately, and is happy that you're happy. Thank you. Thank you.